bad. And already Wasa West taking away that Zach. I've gotta switch the team names really quickly. Wasa West up against Temple City High School. Think it's game number ever. two of this. Game number three, sorry, of the specific. Let's restart that. Guys, welcome back to the High School Australia 2017 playoffs. Wausau West and Temple City. Temple City just tied things up one to one here in this best of three. So this will be the final game match point for both of these teams here. Is Temple City with a nice victory in that second game. So I go. And we're seeing, we're seeing the response out from Wausau West. They don't want to play against that Zach again or that Shen again. Won't be seeing those two picks in this game here. Here comes Santa. Had a great game on the Zach in the last one. He was able to get it rolling and just took that one away. Oriana was a big pick up there for Temple City. And this time we're not seeing it banned out. So maybe they're letting that one get through. Temple City also had a great game on that Lulu. That was a sketch play game. We have to ban it out this time as the first pick is on the side of... Wausau West. Mordekaiser gets locked in. I'm not sure if this is a placeholder or not. And yeah, that looks like it was a placeholder there, so we're gonna get back out of that lobby very fast and um, see what's up. And yeah, so um, Mordekaiser is a placeholder there. And we're just going to get it sorted out who that pick will be for. So we'll have a brief delay before we get on into this game. And... We'll see what's going on. Mordecai is a placeholder for Zaya. So we did see the Zaya in the first game here of this best of three. It was a uh, pretty commanding win, to say the least, for this game. So, we'll see what happens when we get back on into this game here. It's going to be game, champion select for game three here. Temple City versus Wausau West. Wausau West. Chris picking up that Zaya. And we're back in. Think what I could offer. So we should be seeing a uh, another Mordekaiser pick for now. Well, no, I'm just mad. Playtime's over. So I go. I recommend skipping. Oh, we will we will be seeing the same bands. It's not that, that more oh actually never mind. I'll just pick the Zaya. I think they switched around. I'm not even sure. Anyway, whatever. It's a Zaya locked in there. That's the pick we should be seeing as we get on into this champion select. Galio locked in here for a top lane. We'll take that one away from Fredifer. So Fredifer will be seeing what he can pull out. Uh, on this uh, top lane now that he doesn't have his uh, Galio anymore. Mission picked up here as well for Zud. He played the Lucian in the first game. So... Not too surprising to see that one come out here once again. 
again, the summoners for Temple City are just blocked out because of, I don't know, that's just how it looks on the, on my client as well, so, right, messing up their UI somehow there. Anyways. We have the Zaya locked in here with the Karma. The chicken will be bringing that one on into the game. And Fiora locked in here as well for Fenifrey. So he jumps back on that. We know he played Galio in those first two games. So, I mean, I would assume he would know how to play against the Galio here. And he picks up a Fiora for that lane. So we'll be seeing a bit of carry top players. We've been seeing a lot of tanks. We've, we've seen them, what, Tom Kent? They cannot understand. We've seen Galio, Tom Kent, and Shen. Now we'll be seeing a Fiora against that Galio. And we'll see what Fredifer brings against it. As we are on the latest patch, that means in tournament draft mode, we're going to be having that LCS style pick and ban phase, which we'll be seeing the second phase of bans coming through here. Oriana banned out by Wausau West. Not too surprising. Zud was amazing on it in that last game. He had a spike in a gank twice from. Brutal ganks by that Gragas still came out on top. I use in the end of that. In the end of it. Banning away LeBlanc as well as Syndra, Temple City. Really focusing on all these mid laners now. Aru is banned away. And we'll be seeing, I mean, these two mid laners. Uh, Bales and Zud have been having to go deep into the champion pools here as Ryze has also taken off the pool. For the bottom lane, we did have the Sejuani get locked in here with... Uh, for the jungle for, is for Sejuani. Bottom lane is Nami with the Lucian. Sorry about that. As Sejuani, one of those strong tanky frontliners for this team, Temple City. Gonna be looking to, I mean, definitely pick up one, probably one of the more carry mid laners with this, with these two pickups. I mean, uh, Galio and Sejuani are gonna be great frontliners here. And they're gonna be wanting some more damage here to combine with this Lucian after picking up the Nami, which is huge support there. And Lee Singh gets through as banned away in the first two games, and this time it gets through, so we'll see what. We'll see what will come of Lurium's Lee Singh here as Bales locks into Vladimir. Which is what Zud played in the two games. No way. Which is what Bales played in the two games that they won uh, in the round of 64 for Wausau West. So it's a champion Bales is comfortable with. He's won two games on it so far this tournament. Oh man, Twitch locked it. It's a Lucian mid, guys. Lucian mid coming in here for Zud as Twitch gets locked in here for for Z Motions, and this is what Z Motions played in the two wins. In their round of 64 matchup too, so lots of comfort picks here. But Zud on this Lucian, gonna combine with Twitch for Z Motions. Very comfortable pick here for Z Motions, but Lucian mid, it's kind of happening, guys. Um, we'll see what happens when we get into game. I mean, this is exciting now. Game number three, it's match point. One of these teams moves on to the round of 16. One of these teams eliminated from the high school Star League playoffs. We'll see you on the other side of the spectator delay, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll be right back after a quick break. You're watching the High School Starlight 2017 playoffs. Temple City versus Wausau West, one to one. It's all tied up. Final game of this best of three. We'll be right back.
Hello and welcome to Hey guys, welcome back. High School Starley 2017 Playoffs Game 3 Wausau West versus Temple City in this matchup here 1-1. One to one. So it's the elimination game here as things heat up. I'm excited to couldn't bring you these this best of three the whole day today. All by myself. What fun. Also some extra commentary from my roommate. He just can't be quiet. But it's uh, Temple City versus Wausau West. The Zun picking up the Lucian for the middle lane, and he runs the Ignite in here as well. He is looking for blood to start things off here. Went for that dagger start as well, or longsword start, I'm sorry. And Bale's picking up the door and shield. So Bale's nobody is getting into right now, this, this Lucian. <laughs> this Lucian in the mid lane. Top lane will be interesting as well here. Fredifer. Gonna be able to do a lot of damage with this Fiora as he goes up against Zyken on this Galio. Zyken. Taking that one away from him. Fredifer is playing Galio all three, uh, all the first two games. So we're seeing the appearance of Galio all three of these games as we have yet another pause here. And, uh,. Just a bit of lag issues, and looks like they may just be ready to go again. Who knows? Well, first minute 40 seconds here, and we'll be seeing what happens. So, this is an interesting draft from both of these team teams here. I think we're seeing a lot of comfort picks. Twitch banned down the first two games, Lee Sim banned down in the first two games. Both of these champions picked up here for game number three. It'll be interesting. Leeson, of course, we know is just a very strong jungler. He's been very slightly, like, has been nerfed, but we can see how he fares here. And they banded away from him as well, so definitely one of these strong champions that he's on. And now they'll push up this bottom lane. Aggressive start here by Kirby and the chicken. 
side things off here. As well as Zykin against Fredifer hitting that level too fast and gonna be looking to punish Fredifer for it. Saying, hey, this is what you put me through those first two games now as I can deal some damage on the Scalia. Last game, or first game we saw the invade from uh, Ivern, but I haven't seen any since here. Invade from Ivern or invade from Zack? And Lyrium's gonna be showing up to this top lane here to catch off Zykin. Flash away from Zykin, can he even escape from this one? I don't think so, he's surrounded by minions. And that's first blood easily there for Lyrium, using Z forcing out Zykin's flash as well. And that's the power of that early game Lee Sin there as he makes the move onto that middle lane there. Meanwhile, Zed going in onto Bales. Here comes Santa, wants to come in as well, flashing forward, looking to get the stun in there. Bales so close to death here, but finally flashing that ghost, helping him escape there as well. Zud try to take him down, but the narrow escape there from Bales. As here comes Santa, couldn't lock him down. And now Lyrium's coming into this middle lane here. Zed's took down a little bit here, but I don't think Lyrium's here for the kill. He's going to get some CS here. Here Santa making an appearance in that bottom lane. That's been heavily pushed up by Kirby and the chicken. Yeah, I mean, Zykin being put on his back foot there in that top lane as he picks up that Galio. I feel like he's still going to be able to trade out just fine, but had to pick up that cloth arm to start things off here. You have to be careful with that Le with Lyrium on that lead city. Went for that standard uh, clear where he went straight up to that top lane after picking up blue buff. And now he's heading around this middle lane area. Let's go middle lane. Just got some wards down and we'll be back the way. Game three, this whole the series going the, the complete distance here as Temple City defending runner ups, runner up two years in a row in the grand finals. Lo got taken down game one very commandingly. Took it back with game two, but already facing a bit of adversity there. Just slightly over, just so slightly behind in gold to, th to start things off here. As that first blood went over to Wausau West in that top lane. Wausau West with the newcomer here, at least relative to Temple City. Knocked out in the round of in the quarterfinals of winter. But find themselves against the defending champs here. De not defending champs, defending runner-ups. In the only second round of this year's playoffs. This is what we're locked in for. Oh, sorry if that early gank in that top lane. Surprised to see Lyrium has been gone for much since, since then. After picking up that first blood in that top lane against Zykin on the Galio. To get interrupted from back in there. Zed was able to get back. This guy's going to have to stick around for a little bit there. Well, seven minutes in, we're sitting at the one kill advantage for Wausau West. This thing's ugly and chased off a bit by Bales. And Lyrium's gonna be jumping in here as well, so Zud is in a lot of trouble, but able to dash away from there. Gonna be using the pulling as well. 
Hero's entrance coming out from Galio to jump in here. Here comes Santa gonna be joining as well. Can they even catch on to anything though? I'm not sure if they can. Nevertheless, they will show up still. And, oh, Lyrian wants to go in and he gets the kill. On to here comes Santa. He'll get traded out though. But Frederick is coming in from behind. He looks to turn on to Bale. Zud getting down so low. Gonna get picked off here. Bales with that kill. Zykin still around. Trying to get the last few blows. But the heal coming in and can't get over that wall. So a three for one trade in favor of Wausau West there. And that's not good for Temple City. To say the least there. As they just get taken down in that duel. And confident moves by Lyrium there to just go in in that one on three very quickly to get a quick pick. And ends up in a one for, one for three situation. And here comes Santa. They just didn't have that ultimate up yet. Either Lyrium had it for that fight. So Zun with this mid lane Lucian pick, suffering against this team of uh, Temple City here. The heals coming out from the is just really helping him out there. Four to one, jumping ahead here is Wasa West. They have to look to their bottom line here again, but so far it's been fairly even between both of these duos of Z Motions and Sketch and Kirby and Bales here as Zai can look to come down to this bottom lane, but they're playing safe here as Zud forced out, forced to flash as Lyrium jumps into that middle lane by himself it looks like. So Lyrium playing very confidently on this lease in. And it's definitely showing here as he's shoving up this middle lane with Bales. And Zed being forced down low. William can jump in there again, but gets kicked away. Here comes Santa jumping up though, gets the kill onto Lyrium. Lyrium a little bit too far under there. And coming up from behind was here comes Santa to surprise him out there. The chicken looking to engage here. Z Motion's jumping up. Can't find anything just yet. Z Motion's still looking for just scouting around. And they'll back away. So, one kill getting traded back there to be able to take down Lyrium. So Lyrium may be, uh, I mean, he's playing very aggressively on that lease and he ward hopped on top of Zud there. But uh, we did see here comes Santa just right there to clear him out. Great. Good there, Zud. Nice play by him to show up, but it's dangerous here. Lyrium at 100% kill participation with only the four kills in this game as Freddy for Outdoor Zyken up in that top lane. Not too surprising that Fiora finding the advantage over that Galio. So Fredifer takes him out 2-0-2 two, uh, two, oh now. And just as I say 100% kill participation, solo kill in that top lane that Lurin is not around for. So I'm um, not to set up for 80%. Lyrium trying to jump in there, gets completely surprised there and unable to get the damage out onto Zud means Zud can trade it back, takes down Lyrium, now Bale's looking to go in, doing some damage, the ult missing there from Zud but the heal coming through and Z-Motions jumping in here as well, they stun him up and Z-Motions finishes him off. And now they'll look for a first dragon of the game here. With the Cloud Drake, I don't think we've seen any Infernal Drakes at all this entire series. It's been anything but, I'm pretty sure. Lots of Cloud and Mountain Drakes. And here comes Santa. Is actually getting a little bit too low there as they didn't have Z-Motion coming out with that Baron. And they tried to flash in there. Here comes Santa getting ticked down very, very low. But they're going to be able to stay on this dragon. Here comes Santa. Still low. Gets healed up. Gets that smite down to finish it off. First Drake. There it is. Is over to Temple City.
Meanwhile, Fedefer, who wants to West, getting aggressive here on the Zyken once again. Zyken trying to flash away here. Not not a lot of mana there as Zyken looks to get himself out. Tonic coming again. He looks to turn this one around. Oh man, getting ticking him very close to death here, but Fedefer able to escape. Zyken very, very low there, so he was very scared to continue on in that engage. Both top laners will keep their lives and escape with that. Zod, despite being under a lot of pressure in this middle lane matchup, is leading in CS here. Well, we are seeing Lyrim very much out jungling. Here comes Santa right now. He's at 65. Over here comes Santa's 46 CS. Yeah, all in all, it's going to be very even in terms of gold and Zed there, jumping in to do some damage to Bales. No keep jumping in. He's going to be using the Colon here to get some more damage on. Not quite too much. He's on himself here, but we'll get some heals as Skeps are jumping in here. And they're looking for this push on the middle lane. Meanwhile, up top lane, Zyken once again going down. Predator's on a killing speed. 3 0 on this Fiora. Nothing in there is Lyrium. But he had a stop lane. Predator, he's like, go ahead, pick that Galio. I know what to do against him. And he, now he's 3 0, and Zyken's sitting at 1 and 4. Very highly coveted picture, this Galio. I've been seeing him being played mid lane in the LCS recently. I think in the LCK as well. See him Santa jumping up to this top lane. They're gonna just stop this first turret from going down. Double City were trying to get the first turret for themselves there in this middle lane, but they didn't get that push going for themselves. And then they just end up splitting up again. And Dino from the Kirby. Ultimate team used on both of them. Featherstorm coming in there, but Kirby forced to flash away there, away from his emotions. <coughs> but look what's coming down bottom lane. It's both the chicken and Lyrium, and they want to go for a dive here for sure. And they're just going to go for it. Lyrium is going to be jumping in here. Jumps in with the ward hop. It gets the kick down. Gets an easy Q. Z Emotions trying to get away. Will be able to. He dodges out of the karma damage. Kirby jumping up though. Finishes him off. That's an easy dive there as Lyrium just rushes in there with that Karma shield. Now they push for this turret. Sketch doing what he can to dissuade them from doing this, but... Lots of damage coming out onto this one. That's a nice title with there, Lyrium getting low. He's able to speed himself out of there. And first trade just ends up going down in that top lane as Freddy and Bales are pushing it. Could be smart by Zed in that middle lane, but they're going to lose out on that gold advantage. So Wausau West. That's strong here. Just very slight man is going to go for them. They're about 2,000 gold in the lead here. Free Drake is in the hands of Temple City. Next one will be coming up. It's going to be another Cloud Drake. Look at that. Just no Infernal Drakes at all this entire matchup. Across three games. Despite the kill advantage coming out from Wasa OS, it's been really even on both sides, but you just have to think that Wasa OS will have this advantage when it comes to the fights here, the damage from their team, especially with how well that with how well Fredifer is dominating this top lane. Zygon is staying even on terms of CS here, but uh oh, looks like Bales wants to go in doing some damage and some motions here. And they just continue to be on their Temple City just continuing to play reactively here. They're being very careful of the damage that can come out from 
Far southwest. Zyken once again being doled out here by French in the top lane. Zyken looking to the back though. Let me get that taunt down, but he's just eating up damage from these auto attacks. Zyken forced the flash away and get out there with the justice punch. Zub's gonna be coming in there. He wants to duel. He says, Go for me. Colin gonna be coming in over the wall. Shut down. Kill for Temple City, but bottom lane, the chicken takes down Z Motions. The kick back onto Sketch. That's a two. Kill combo, bottom lane duo going down. The Temple City Wasa West gonna be able to get a turn out of this one. Meanwhile, up in that top lane, Zed was able to find a kill for himself, but I mean, just Lyrium making the plays happen all over the map there as he pushes down that bottom lane. And now they look over to that Cloud Drake to start that one up. The Z Motions and Sketch still down, and Zed currently in that top lane. Going for this turret. He looks like he'll be able to get it and maybe cancel out this teleport he is. I'm not too sure that was a great teleport there as Lyrium secures that dragon for his team. So Cloud Drake's on both sides of the rift here. Temple City of Wausau West both picking up some dragon a piece, but and actually two turrets a piece as well. It's really turret though, very, very low for Temple City. And that's where Wasa West is gonna go now. We're gonna get some damage onto Lyra. Meanwhile, Zud catching up Bales here on the side. They're trying to go in onto him. They're gonna be catching up Lyrium as well. He's trying to dash out and he will be able to getting over that wall there. The root coming in onto here comes Santa. But overall it's gonna be Wasa West low after that as Bales and Lyrium were forced back. So Temple City may look to keep on going with this push onto the middle lane here. We could also split and go for this Rift Herald. We definitely need to look for an objective after that. Here comes Santa, looks like he may start this up. They really need to go for an objective after that. They need to take down two people low. This Rift Herald is just wide open, but the team kind of split up and went their separate ways, so not able to get anything from. A very nice trade from them here, although over the wall, here comes Santa. Chasing after Bales, Redemption gonna be there to heal him up, and Lyrium comes in, gets a kick to knock up both, and now they take down Zud, Hero's entrance from Zyken, but can't do much there as here comes Santa going down, double kill for Lyrium now chasing after Zyken, Zyken sidestepping that Q, but it's like he's still getting chased after. And look at that, I mean, they look for an engage on Bales, but at, at a pretty awful time to be honest. And end up paying for that one with two members going down Lyrium with two kills. Now here's the push on to mid. And then middle, uh, middle lane, inner turret, outer turret goes down. And I mean, Temple City, they had a great trade there and ended up losing two members and also losing their outer turret in mid lane. We're looking at chasing after Bales here. Bales trying to get out with that blast mode. We're we'll really get some distance away. Proto Belt being used to that now as well. Kamen shows up. Miriam in here as well. Doesn't want to go in though. Looks like not. Looks like no. As both teams dance around this top lane. One minutes in here. Three thousand gold in the lead for Wasa West. But both teams calming things down here as they get into the middle. Uh, as they get into the mid game, it's a one to one here. I mean, you have to remember that this is elimination for one of the. This is elimination point for one of these teams. The other team will be moving on. But they just have to be so careful with this final ga final game of the match here. Winner of this will be moving on to play Heritage Woods Secondary School of William Line McKenzie. In the round of 16 and uh oh, Zug getting caught off here. They can't catch up onto him. Hero's entrance from Zykin. As they were trying to dive in behind that inner turret. 
Zaikin looking to go in here, but can't find the Justice Punch on anyone. Gets rooted up here. Taking a lot of health damage as they tend to back away. So, Z Motion's is pushing up that bottom lane here. He's able to. Meanwhile, top lane's getting pushed in there by Predator 3. Predator 3 still pushing here. Comes Santa wants to go in onto somebody here. They get the stun down on Telerium, the playmaker. He's looking to escape here. Redemption coming across. Can it save him? So much damage coming in. Veils is in that back line, but ends up getting taken down by Zykin. And now they're still chasing middle lane. Where will they go? Z Emotions leading the charge there, to get, trying to get some autos down. That's overall a one for none there in favor of Temple City. But where do they take this advantage? This is the question. Sketch, and here comes Santa, are low, so I think a Baron would be out of the question here. Can they really do anything after that is the question? And uh oh, here comes Santa. Cool. Almost getting caught out there. And yeah, the team's just gonna completely back away so they find a kill in that middle lane, but don't get anything out of it. Yeah, Temple City. They're number they're seed number 40 in this tournament. They beat seed number 25, Grant Park High School. Wausau West is Seed number eight. And Temple City is bringing them to the full three games here. And it's a very close one here at the end of it. But three turrets in the lead for Wausau West is what's propelling them to a 4,000 gold lead late in this game. Dragon's about to spawn that cloud drake. It's about to come up. And we're seeing where they want to apply pressure. They had pressure going in bottom lane. They have credit for three. Hard pushing that top lane and middle lane's getting up by Kirby right now. Another Cloud Drake. Are you kidding me? Three Cloud Drakes. And this is going to be the third one easily going down to Wausau West. That's the second of the game. Yeah, the game is just in the hands of Wausau West, they know they're ahead here with five towers down on the map. The only inner turret remaining is that bottom lane one. And they're just applying pressure all over this map here. We're gonna catch out someone here comes Santa, maybe a target, but he's dashing away and able to get out of there. Escape for him here as Red looks to dash away. So yeah, this double tank comp with two of your carries. Tough the city. Not doing too hot with it here. This pickup comes. There's, there's so much damage coming out from. So much damage coming out from the team of Wausau West and Miriam is just the playmaker right now. On the Slee Sin, 4 3 and 5. So, throughout the game, he's been all over the map helping out his team. Better for 3 as well. Winning that bottom lane handily, uh, top lane matchup handily, and now just on, on split push duty. Both these top laners have teleports up as the transition is coming out here from Wausau West. We're going to dance around this trap barrier pit now. And possibly they're trapped with somebody here. Whoever goes charging into the jungle there is not able to, able to get a ward and get out of there. His emotions are heading down to the bottom lane. Look, they trade out with Predator. Better for three. Finds himself in a one on two. The taunt coming across. He's doing some damage to Z Emotions. Flash in. He takes down Z Emotions and forces a flash from Zykin. A one on two. And Frederick for three comes out on top. Z Emotions still had the heal up. Ended up going down to him. And Frederick for three just got killed by the redemption. So he's going to keep going. And now the Baron has been started up here by Wasau West. Sketch being poked down low here. The Colin coming across here. Tidal wave as well, but not to too much here. Zud's getting chased off. The flash kick in there. Hero's entrance will be coming across here to try to help out Zud. He does get taken down by the chicken. 
as I can coming in here. Here comes Santa as well. They can't do too much against this though. It's a losing battle as they're also losing their bottom lane. That's Zykin going down Lyran with another kill. They hop right back onto that Baron. And that's going to be an easy one for them here. I think. Fairly low. See, Motion's meanwhile chasing after Fredifer. It takes him down. Doesn't have to use any summoners that time. And oh uh, yeah, Karma Shield's going to be enough to secure that Baron. First Baron going over to Wasa West. They jump ahead to 8,000 gold in the lead with 6 turrets to 2. As Fredifer 3 got had a successful push on that bottom lane, but oh man, huge mistake there from Temple City in that bottom lane fight. Z Motion still had that heal up, could have easily been able to heal himself up and take down Fredifer 3 in that and get in that one on two. But they end up just losing it out there, and they now lose their Baron in the bottom lane inner, and they are just being put down so behind here. 20 minutes in, it's a very slow rolling snowball here for Wasa West, but it is absolutely building up here. And I mean that mid lane, all those mid lane centered bands here, and Bale still gets his one of his preferred champions of the Vladimir. We saw him, he, he played it. In the round of 32, and it was banned out before this game it gets through, and he picks it up, and he's played so well in this mid game with it. So that one for the mid lane Lucian, and maybe even uncomfortable. He's two, three, and four, and then he's leading the entire game in CS, but still hasn't been able to do too hard. He's doing a lot of damage. Look at that. Actually, not leaving the game. Leaving the game is it's emotions Never with about 40 CS in the lead above him but CS doesn't matter too much when you come into this stage of the game when you have all three lanes pushing by Temple City uh, by Wausau West the 1-3-1 and one push from the Yager from Wausau West says here comes Santa he gets over that wall he's gonna catch up somebody stuns up DD carry Kirby he's getting bursted down Z Motions picks him up that's a very very nice pick there as we did see a lot of people's ultimates being used in the corner. Sparing play as well there. Now chasing after Bales in this top lane, Zykin. He's leading off this trade. They take him down as four members converge. See motion with that kill. So the 1-3-1 one, one trade doesn't work when you have your teammates going down here as they pick off two members, one in the mid, one in the top lane. And now they look to transition back to mid. See, Motion's trying to rush ahead here. So they get two picks, but not too much in the map that Temple City can really go for, especially with three lanes pushing in on them. Dragon spawning in 15 seconds. They have a 4v5 advantage for that, but I don't think they're going to be able to get there in time, so this might just be another Dragon and a Mountain Drake over for this team. And actually, no, they'll be able to respond to this fast enough, it looks like. This emotion is trailing out here. And they're gonna, just gonna go in and go straight for it. Mountain Drake attempted here by Temple City. Right under the eye of the control ward. Still looking to do some damage against the Lyrium. Gonna force him away here as this Mountain Drake goes down. Picked up by, Wasa, uh, by Temple City. Wasa West now. Losing out on that one. The Wasa West, they still have the lead. And those two kills that Temple City got really don't amount to much. They're gonna go straight back to pushing this middle lane, and honestly, it's just an ace away on Temple City from possibly a game win here for Wasa West. So, Temple City. They have their inhibitor, they have their base wide open as all of their turrets outside of it have gone down, all the inner and outer turrets. Predator for 3 once again hard pushing up in this top lane. That's what he'll be doing all game, folks. If we are on that split push and able to 1v2 as well. We're just gonna keep him split pushing. 
what is the response from Temple City? Suds on the side, so is the emotions. They're setting up for a play in this mid lane. Looks like they're playing a little bit far back here. Lost the rest of the steel. Defensively, trade to keep it. Bales are going in. Out of the way, coming across. They shut down Lyrium. Stun's coming up here. Redemption are going to get a huge heal, though, onto the team here. So they've taken down Lyrium so far. They want to keep going in. Bales jumping back in. Kirby with some damage as well. They exhaust him, though. They can't get onto him. Bales jumping ahead. Proto Belt. Damage in there. Chicken chasing after. Here comes Santa. Gets him down. The auto attacks. It's enough. The kid chicken on a killing spree. Taking down more. And they trade that one right back. A one for two. That's ridiculous. Now top lane push. Zyken trying to fend this one off. Gets the taunt down. For Z Motion to get damage himself. He flashes away though. It's Freddy for jumping it off. Damn hero's entrance coming across. Z Motion didn't need it. He's able to survive. And they also take down Kirby. So that's just trades coming in everywhere. Now Zud flashing in. He wants to trade out with someone who gets exhausted. He still wants to go in here. But can't find anyone. He does. He takes down. He takes down Bales. That Ignite ticking down onto him. And now the chicken's looking to rush away here. And I think he may be able to. Zud's still looking to go forward. Lyrium has respawned. And he's heading his way up here. So Zud would be wise to just, to just back away here. But Lyrium is still chasing. He's getting over. Q doesn't land. He wants to go in still. He flashes after Zud. After getting in there with the Dragon's Rage to take him down. And it's only a Galio here with not too much damage being built up on him. So Lyrium just takes down Zud. Oh man. Confident play by Lyrium using all the mobility that, mobility that he has in his back pocket. He could take him down. To take down that Zud. So kills, kills being traded all over once again. And overall, it looks like Temple City is catching up in that kill count. But still, still not able to get too much out of it. And still we would have a disadvantage most likely in a 5 on 5 fight. Lurium is two levels, levels ahead of Here Comes Santa as well. Which edge him out in the smite battle on... We're going to be seeing what could possibly happen here. Baron started up and Zud is still not the spawn just yet. He's just coming up now as this Baron's already down to half health. Tidal Wave coming across. They want to go for the engage. Chicken got stunned up. Hero's entrance coming in there, but Baron picked up. But the, look at that bubble. The damage coming in from Z Motions. The redemption coming in. They're sitting straight on top of it. And they're taking down three so far. The Feather Storm coming in and trades some out, but Bales trying to go back in. He got a double kill, but ends up getting taken down himself. Zud just respawned and he's jumping in here. Kirby trying to get out there with the Baron and Empowered Recall is able to, but Lyrium is trapped all by himself. And now they just trade that one now. That's four Baron buffs down as four for two in favor of Temple City. And now they're looking, now they're able to get something off of that one fight there. They're looking over at this top lane. Kirby getting chased after. He's going to get blown up. And that's an ace there. He tried to go to defend that tower all by himself. He's not able to. And now they're going to lose this mid lane tower. Uh, this mid lane inner turret as Zed's taking it down. And this top lane turret as you see on your screen here. Just responding now is the chicken. He's not able to do much here. Middle inner turret goes down. Solo pushed out by Zud. Z Motions is pushing this top lane. They're going to get this inhibitor turret and dash their way out of there. Middle lane turret still getting down low here. Do they want to try to go for this one? Looks like they could. Or maybe go for a kill onto the chicken here. He's going down low, but Freddy Fur and Bales are both in here. Both very deadly. Won't be able to engage. Huge, huge fight for Temple City there. Baron attempted by... Oh, man. Baron attempted by the team of Wausau West. But you saw that team fight potential... The ultimate from Twitch, Tidal Wave by Nami and Sketch had a huge bubble in the middle of that fight. Picking off two carries there and Z Motion's able to just shred them down. He's a 9, 3, and 5 on this Twitch right now at his full build. So he's at peak right now on this damage. And I mean, he's been farming up Storm this entire game and... I was saying the CS didn't matter, but I was, I mean, I should have corrected myself then. CS 
able to keep Zud and Z Motion still in this game here, able to keep the entire team in this game with that at that. As Temple City are able to go toe for toe still. And now they're just a thousand gold behind. So a huge advantage there. Or some huge gains made here by Temple City to get back to this game. They were leading by five. Oh. Oh, the ultimate from Sejuani being carried out by Fiora. Elder Drake started up by Temple City. The waves of minions are pushing in here on all three lanes for Wasau West. They get a good fight out here. They can go for a lot of the base here. Inside, Lyrium takes down the Elder Dragon. He had the smart advantage there. They're looking for the fight. Featherstorm coming across for some damage. Redemption gonna be the healing factor here. They want to get in though to fight this one off though. It's a 4v5 right now. Now a 4v4. They're chasing after the damage from the emotions is huge. The poison takes down. Takes down one. He goes in. There's Sketch with one himself. Two members down. That's two kills. However, middle lane getting pushed in right now by Freda for three. But the middle lane's getting pushed in as well by the rest of Temple City. Z Emotions finding another kill here. Three members down. Lyrium and Fredifer. The only one's left alive. Fredifer is still inside the base, but they're going to lose two inhibitors. As Temple City once again come out on top in these fights, they just completely shredded down the team of Wasau West. They're hanging around for just a bit longer. Do they want to go for more here? They don't have Dominion Waves too. They're going to have to back away here. And maybe turn this one around. Zed doing some damage to Lyrium here. Lyrium getting that kick down. Gonna go for that resonating strike as well. Looking to dash away. They still have the damage down onto him. He's so low. Flashing in. The ignite's ticking down. He's gonna get back to base to heal up in time. And Temple City will now have to back away. Meanwhile, Z Motion dueling out with Fredifer. He's trying to cut himself away from this one. Can he? He's able to. The poison ticks down. Takes down Fredifer. Puts him on that respawn timer for six, 60 seconds. And a hectic fight here. But finally, Temple City come ahead in terms of kills. And we're about to reach the 40 minute mark here. And a huge, huge, huge team fight around that other Drake. Liam was able to secure it. Nevertheless, the team fight is so strong coming out. Zud sidesteps Lyrium here, but Lyrium still going in. Gets that slow down, trying to chase after Zud, trying to get over the safety here. He's going down so low. Z Emotions trades out with him to kick back onto Zud. He's able to survive. Less than 30 health there to end things off. But surviving nevertheless there. Lyrium still looking deadly on this Lee Sin. So, inhibitors down in both mid lanes. Inhibitors down in the top lane for Wasau West. Aaron's responding in a little bit more than a minute 30. Temple City with the last few wins in team, in team fighting. So they're carrying that advantage with them. And I think this tank line is really starting to help things out here. Zyken. Looking strong here. Mortal War might have picked up here by Lucian. So he finishes up his build there with the Mortal Reminder. And that's going to be doing quite a bit of damage. Better for threes. He's pushing up on this bottom lane. And somehow, this middle bottom lane out of a turret has survived 40 minutes into this game. But uh, 44-43, it's getting taken down. Bottom lane out of tower goes down. Temple City looking to push. They have super minions pushing in top lane and uh, super minion wave in the middle lane. Not pushing too hard there as it's being contested. So now they'll look to pressure out this bottom lane. Jack Baron's responding in 45 seconds, but they're not worried about that one. They have the advantage for now. They don't need to worry about that Baron, but they know they're carrying the momentum here as well. Momentum as well as Asa West will let this inner turret fall. And now Temple City, Wasa West, dead even in terms of gold. But that will change here as he looks to push into this fight. Zykin looking to go in here. The sun's coming in. They take down Bales. They're under the turret here as they're pushing in. Z Motion's legendary as Lyrium falls as well. And this has got to be it. The middle lane and the bottom lane and turret going down here. As the inhibitor turret will be taken down as well. And the inhibitor are full push on this bottom lane. 
and then the engage under the turrets and now on to the nexus Temple City looking to push things in here, absolutely destroying Bales and Lyrium. Looking to keep on going in Fredder for three. He's in by himself. He's exhausted though. Heroic entrance. Coming out, T Motions picking up that kill. And this has got to be it. This is going to be it. Temple City High School. They take this game 42 minutes in. And they're going to win this series to move on. Temple City, absolutely huge win there. As they just kept going in that game when it looked very bad for them. Wausau West getting taken out. And they'll be eliminated from this year's high school Star League playoffs. Temple City with the very well played game coming out into this one. And just Z-Motions really stepping up in that last fight. Completely shredding down the team of Wausau West. So this will be Temple City with the two... To one victory here. A very hard fought one for them. As it reached the 42 minute mark. And I mean what could you ask for more from these two teams here. A dominating performance by Wausau West in that first game. But Temple City took it back in the second. And then had to fight for it in the third game. But they'll be moving on. Into the rest. Into the round of 16. And they're going to be looking to get to that Grand Finals once again for the third time in a row. They were runner-ups for two years in a row. But they were definitely challenged in this matchup. But so far, they've been upsetting. As a number 40 seed, they took down Grant Park, the number 25 seed. And just now, as you saw, number 8 seed, Wausau West, picking up that win. Guys, thanks for watching the High School Star League. We'll be seeing some more High School Star League action throughout the weekend and throughout the next few weeks as the playoffs are continuing into the next few weeks so to be sure to follow us here on twitch as well as on the rest of social media as you can see on your screen screen right now on check out our website our twitter and our facebook it's been crusader kitten casting the matches for you today follow me on twitter at crusader kitten but that's going to be all we have for today thanks for tuning in and we'll see you all next week